All right, so we're gonna be talking about, you know, the perks about having this generator here. Break the figures down a little bit and just trying to justify getting my own little APU put on this truck without having to spend thousands of dollars because I know some of them are you know upwards of ten fifteen thousand dollars to get these done to your vehicle so uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it. So essentially in this video we'll be breaking down uh, the figures on having a generator versus just idling the truck and uh, it's it's gonna give you a good idea on how much money that you could possibly save by running a small generator that you can pick up from Harbor Freight or anywhere else and uh, it's quiet and it won't annoy people because I know some of these people have done open frame generators and I've seen YouTube videos of it and I just want to throat punch these people if they would ever pull up next to me with one of them loud ass obnoxious generators. In this video you're gonna you're gonna hear the generator but it doesn't really do justice because the phone's gonna pick up all of the the high frequency noises coming out of it it's a lot quieter in person you can have a conversation next to it actually i'm speaking louder than the generator actually is and a lot of people can attest to that that already own these generators so don't take it from me i'm speaking louder than the generator actually is so you know if you want to invest in one of these they're pretty damn quiet All right, I was gonna break this down, but you know, these these two don't really matter. Um, don't mind my busted ass hands. It's been cold and dry, and I built the generator set up when it was pretty damn cold. All right, so we're running off 10 hours a night, minimum idle time, and most of my idling was um, in freezing temperatures. And I, was, I got my truck tuned to burn just above three quarters of a gallon. And in the summertime, typically, I can actually get it down to uh, three quarters of a gallon. But we're going to do this, make it easy. Your typical truck will burn a gallon an hour sitting at idle. Coast to coast. This is what I like to do. 5,500 miles. Typically, you know, go from Ohio, Georgia, go to California, Oregon, or even, even Washington coast to coast 5500 miles and that's uh and I, I like to do that in about a week and a half two weeks you know and then call it good 
34 hour restart in between so you get up there because you're gonna run out of hours coming back halfway so you know Monday to Friday drop Friday take the weekend off and then go ahead and head out so we have here is hours off hours off duty when you have to do your 10 hour breaks um, we'll just say we're driving in the daytime so each one of these lines represents midnight obviously you got your entire week out hours off duty idling you got 10 here you run it out say it takes you a little bit longer to get out there because of snow and stuff we're just gonna we're just gonna make this as easy as we can 10 hours of idling every day and temperatures are freezing it's windy you know you got you got to keep yourself warm and this is this is without the generator seven day 10 hour off duty cycles you got 70 hours a week one gallon an hour obviously it's going to equal 70 plus your 34 hour restart that's 104 hours of off duty idling in one week 104 hours at one gallon an hour national average <laughs> except if you're in the west coast 340 a gallon and that's with my fuel discounts that shit is already up to 399 that's three hundred and fifty three dollars and sixty cents for just one turnaround that's not the fifty five hundred miles so you could be burning in two weeks six hundred no seven hundred and i don't know seven hundred and sixteen seven hundred and seventeen dollars twelve cents something like that so you're 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 cooking in two weeks about seven hundred dollars in fuel to keep your ass warm just idling the truck all right so now that we've gotten this part of it sorted with just idling let's go ahead and turn the page here now let's do generator figures all right, so before I dive into this, so yeah, so <laughs> I was a little bit off in my math. It's $707.20. That's if everything on here were to go perfectly and uh, you were to do the, you know, 5,500 miles and, you know, it's pretty much double your hours off is what we figured into there. So it'd be $707 roughly in two weeks, maybe two weeks and two days to get that done coast to coast. All right, so generator. The, I did real world testing and I did some tweaks to my 3500 generator and uh, I can get it to run 10 hours on two gallons. It's a 2.6 gallon tank on that generator outside at 50%. So that's uh, 1700 to 2000 watts. Uh, which is, you know, uh, space heater, fridge, um, electronics, battery charger. But when I hook up the, um, the block heater, that kind of starts putting it up in the 3000 range, 1800 watt, uh, block heater, 1500 watt space heater, and then like a thousand watts for the fridge to kick on. But then it goes down to 30 watts, which is really efficient. Um, and then the battery charger, 150, 200 watts. Anyways, 10 hours on two gallons of fuel at 50%. And I, I'll, I'll be a lot lower than this when I'm in certain areas just running the space heater because I only need to do the block heater for about an hour and it'll kick it up 50 degrees. And, you know, it's just enough so the motor won't hard start. So we got one gallon, 320 a gallon, five hours per gallon being used in the generator during a somewhat extreme conditions you know space heater running it 50 percent so we took the hours from the other page and we got 104 hours for the half week you know just let's say ohio to west coast whatever 104 hours total idle time at 20 gallons in that 104 hours so five hours of runtime for 104 hours gives me 20 gallons at 320 a gallon that's 66 dollars 56 cents total in one turn 2500 miles 66 dollars and 56 cents times two so now you're doing your west coast turnaround you're heading back east 
that's where this times two is, comes out to $133.12 for the total miles. Now you tell me, what sounds a lot better? $133 or $707? That's the difference in a West Coast turnaround. If you're idling because it's constantly cold, frigid temperatures and you have to idle your truck, basically not shutting it down ever. That's the difference. $570, $574 if you're doing it on extreme measures with Monday through Mondays through Sundays, 10 hour breaks and with your 34 hour restart. And with the way fuel prices are starting to come up, This number looks a lot more attractive than that number.